The only way I can be beat is if you cheat. If you cheat. If you play fair and square, I'm going to win. <laughs> I mean... Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Barb City where it be Liddy. Let's go on ahead and get into it. Before we do, as always, remember when in doubt, pull your mother effing blunt out. Our first topic is going to be about Kelsey Nicole, Megan the Stallion's ex-best friend, deciding to become an influencer for Nicki Minaj's low size sneaker brand. So she posted these photos right here to her um, Instagram, y'all, looking good. Definitely knew what she was doing when it came to promo. And this is what she said. Have y'all checked out the Low Side by Nicki Minaj shoe line? Now available at DTLR Official and Shoe Palace. I'm wearing the Press Play shoe. This brand is eco-friendly and constantly working to protect future generations to come. Shop at Low Side by Nicki Minaj. So I am totally here for this. Definitely happy for Kelsey. And we gotta give the girl her mother effing flowers out. Just, just, just give a bitch her, her roses though. I mean, you know I love just you, give man. a bitch her roses out. You know what I'm saying? I did. Now, let's get into Natalie Nunn. There is a viral video of Natalie Nunn going around right now that she is trying to say is just a skit, but I am going to play the clip and then we are going to get into it. Check it out. I got family in Detroit. Hi, I got family in Detroit. My daughter, all my niggas family, my husband's family from Detroit. Yeah. yeah. What up though? Yeah, what up though? Yeah, That's the funny though? shit. That I really run the city, but I be being nice. Now, a lot of people felt like this was not a skit and Natalie Nunn might have been high in this video, you guys, off of that pow pow. But then people could not help but to point out how ridiculous she looks with them damn facial expressions. Like, girl, please stop. Embarrassing. And then trying to say that this is a skit. Like, Natalie, we know exactly how you act when you're upset, child. And this is not giving skit at all. A lie. Like, look at how quick she lied. But let's get into some of the comments. One being from Natalie herself. She said, oh, my skit is going viral, LOL. It was a joke. I said, I run LA. You see how I'm running it though? LOL, all jokes aside, it was a joke, but go viral. Someone responded to Natalie and said, LOL, Nat be high as F talking big-ish. Natalie said, I smoked a baddie blunt and got the city turned. And I'm just like, Natalie, that was not no damn blunt. Pocket. Clock it. Okay, let's get into the next comment saying the way she be twisting her face up like a pretzel in an attempt to pop her ish is not necessary. I swear it's not. She high as hell and bug eyes. I know a head off of tequila when I see one higher than the cost of living. And one more person said, boy, she be thinking she looks so tough when she do her lip thing. <laughs> now, let's move forward into Megan the Stallion. So Megan the Stallion has announced that she is going to be putting out a documentary. Now, the general public is finding this very funny because if you guys don't know, Nicki Minaj just announced last week that her documentary was being sabotaged by Rock Nation. Now, y'all know Rock Nation has been trying to push Megan Thee Stallion to look like something that she's not. 
seem more bigger than what she is. So with that being said, right after Nicki Minaj announced that her documentary was being sabotaged, here is Megan Thee Stallion announcing that she has a documentary coming out. We've seen this when Nicki Minaj announced the Pink Friday 2 Deluxe, right? Shortly after that, Megan Thee Stallion announced her Deluxe to Megan. We also seen this with the tour. Nicki Minaj announced that she was going to be going on tour. And then shortly after that, Rock Nation had Megan Thee Stallion on tour. But anyways, you guys, let's get into it. Hope one. So this is what's going around. Um, are y'all here for it? Megan Thee Stallion's new documentary to be released October of 2024. And here were some of the comments. No offense, but she ain't do enough for a documentary yet. We ain't care. We're waiting for Nikki's documentary that Rock Nation keeps sabotaging. Jay-Z is on Nikki's neck. Nikki just says she's releasing her documentary soon on Station Head. Now Megan's coming with a documentary. Ain't nothing wrong with her having a documentary, but it's timing. First the deluxe because she thought Nikki was dropping a deluxe. Now the documentary. Another person said, Rock Nation is actually going to make people not like her. They're doing way too much to try and push her. It's actually sick. Two more comments saying about what the album flopped, the tour flopped. What is there to document? We heard her story a million times. We want to hear Tories. So let me know what you guys feel about that. And let's move forward into Beyonce. So this is the topic that I have been waiting for someone to bring up because this is a question I have as well. Is Beyonce a thumb or does she need to go down with Jay-Z? Now, I do have an opinion, but first I want to hear you guys's, right? So this is the question that was asked. A, y'all think Jay groomed B? Real question. And here were some of the comments. They met when she was 16 slash 17 and started dating when she was 18, 19. He was already in his late 20s during that time. Both guilty though. Beyonce is not a them anymore. And since a long time ago, they started together as Bonnie and Clyde for a reason. That's true. Um, Beyonce and Sean Corey Carter, a.k.a. Jay-Z, already knew they were doomed from the start. Those soulless slash counterfeit spirits are scrambling. Another person said, I think Matthew and Tina groomed me. For the industry, then Jay finished the job. Now B may realize the whole time she hasn't had the control she thought over herself. Another comment saying she was three years older than Blue when she met her husband, who was 12 years older than his daughter is now. Of course he did. She was barely 18. And one more comment saying, I believe she wanted the relationship because she wanted success. There aren't many wealthy self-made 18-year-olds. That's who was on the same level as her, and she accepted that. Plus, y'all forgot wealthy people date and marry for status and wealth. First love last. So you guys, the comments were all over the place, as you guys can see. I want to know what you guys feel, and I promise to give my opinion in a later video, but I must say, okay, a lot of y'all aren't gonna be happy with what I gotta say, child. The way you, I'm not trying to laugh, y'all know. I'm never sure it's not funny, stop laughing. Because one thing I'm gonna do is keep it real and not be a follower. 
always something with these bitches. Like, be yourself. I promise it's okay to be yourself. I promise. God. Now. Let's go in ahead and add some razzle dazzle onto this video and get into some Nicki Minaj topics. The first one being the narrative that they are trying to push right now, basically saying that Nicki Minaj fired Booth on her Pink Friday 2 tour. Now, if you guys do not understand Nicki Minaj and the way that she jokes with people that love her just say that in my job's mother effing business child but anyways this is one of the many posts that are going around right it says Nicki minaj fired her dj in the middle of her performance and y'all know they're trying to paint Nicki for as the most horrible person on the planet for this but i want to play the clip for you guys and then we're going to move forward check it out <laughs> Hey y'all, yeah. I just built my jewelry just to suck my nigga on. Boom, 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 boom. You're fired. <laughs> I said five times. Y'all heard me, right? I said play the back of the whole part. Don't play, don't play. We'll do it after her. So y'all are gonna sit here and act like y'all don't know that Nikki was joking in this video. Uh, I don't want to hear that bullshit. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. Save all the goddamn lies. Y'all are going to sit here and act like y'all don't know for a fact that Nicki Minaj would never disrespect Booth like this. Oh, girl, please, bitch, ho. Now, Nicki Minaj did respond to this, but first, let's read the reader's added context. It says, this post might be misleading as Nicki Minaj did not fire her DJ after the incident. That's just how she and DJ Booth interact as friends joking around. She didn't mean it seriously. And of course, here is what Nicki Minaj had to say. When the checks clear, one, Nicki Minaj fired her DJ. Two, Nikki kicked her cameraman in the face. Three, Nikki snatches Mike from security. Four, still most streamed. Five, still on her record-breaking tour. Six, loved in real life. Seven, put your remaining coin on your career. The people are bored. Ugly. I'm just like, Nicki Minaj be always reading the F out of a dud when it's necessary. Now let's get into this last Nicki Minaj topic, right? She decided to put an end to a drag that Bossy B and her fans have been using quite some time when it comes to Nicki Minaj's husband. So really quick, you guys, look at this tweet from December of 2023 that Nicki, or excuse me, that Bossy B put up in response to a drag that Nicki Minaj had for her ride. She said what she said. I'm not about to read that. Y'all can read it yourselves. But anyway, Nicki Minaj, like she said, I don't care how long it takes to get her out back. All my outside steak, we out back, right? She decided to post pictures of her and her son and her husband at the park, as you guys can see right here, right? Not just that. But she also posted this photo along with videos of Papa Bear enjoying himself at what looked like like a little play play a little play place like Boondocks or something like that or Chuck E. Cheese or something. But anyways, like she said, y'all be thinking y'all know what the f is going on, and y'all just be saying, child. Anyway, she did respond to everything that's being said online about the pictures that she posted. And she said, I let them run with a fake news drag for years just so I could get this good, good laugh. I'm a different type of, oh, petty Kansas City tonight is tonight. Doll babes love you. And she also said, they used to be giving y'all the fake news so loud and proud. I thought a brain vessel was going to pop. You'd have to have a brain for that too, though. Hashtag Gag City Kansas tonight. 
Nicki Minaj official.com. As I always say, I love when she talks her ish and promotes herself at the same time. If you're going to post about Nicki Minaj as a blog, you are going to promote her stuff, chow. Okay. Anyway, let me know what you guys feel about all those topics. Thank you for enjoying Barb City Blooper Rose because I know I was all over the place. And until next time, I love you guys so much. Thanks.